Hey everybody, Vinyl So here, coming to you from a snowy southern Indiana. Not a lot of snow, just enough to get a little on the ground. Um, got some uh, good stuff here to show everybody. Um, uh, back at Christmas, me and my, my neighbor um, exchanged gifts, and he got me, which is just absolutely wonderful, the B-52s. Which this is not. This is the one I, I I was really needing, which um has uh, Planet Claire and Rock Lobster on it, which was really awesome with him to do that. I, I gave him a uh, original Police forty five. It was a uh, a shaped a special edition like a badge that I bought originally thirty five years ago. I, I gave that to him, and he seemed to like it, and he gave me this, which was. Really amazing. So, Steve, my neighbor, thank you for that. And this was great. I actually bought this for myself just before Christmas. Um, this is was amazing find, in my opinion. Wasp. And now this one is great. It's got I Want to Be Somebody, L-O-V-E Machine, um, Hellion. Uh, really great songs. Um, really great album. $8.00. I paid eight dollars for this. Oh, I need to say the the one Steve got me has it looks like the original tag on it for five ninety eight, which would have been a long time ago. It's just really nice having those original little tags on them. Uh, this one here is not original tag, but I got that for eight dollars at a place called Secret Headquarters. The funny thing about that is uh, they got an arcade and kind of a uh, pop culture store, but. Uh, it says Secret Headquarters, just really big on the side of the building, just kind of funny. So I got that Secret Headquarters for $8, and it came in the plastic, really great condition. I, I love Wasp. Blackie Lawless is amazing, in my opinion. Still still going, I believe. You know, he does some shows now again, mostly overseas. But um, this actually, I didn't buy. I bought another Rick Springfield. I thought it was this one. I thought this was the one, or that was the one I needed. This was the one I needed. So my daughter actually gave me this out of her collection to replace the one. This is the one I needed, which I didn't tell her, but I'm actually going to give her the other Springfield in its place because it's a double. So she should get that one in the place. So she gave me this one to replace the one I bought for $3, which I already had. It was like the last Rick Springfield I bought. But I love this album. Had to have it. Um, this isn't in here. Oh, it's in the record player, actually. So you know I actually listen to them. This is Joan Jett. Um, I got a gift card for hard copies. It's a place in the mall in Evansville. Uh, had a gift card for it, and I went and spent the whole gift card on this album, which I, I love Joan Jett. Absolutely love Joan Jett to pieces. It now, still, I mean... Just love her to pieces, and this song just tons of songs on it, so I had to have it. Almost bought that at a flea market down the road for 12 bucks, but I kind of passed on it to get some other stuff. Went back to get it, and the booth was gone, completely gone, so I missed out. But I got a brand new one with my gift card. This one was also from Secret Headquarters. Um, Really great album, Dire Straits, Brothers in Arms. Um, I paid, Jess, do you remember what I paid for this? $10 maybe? Maybe 10, maybe 10, which would be a buy, a steal. Yeah. Even at that, I think it might have been $10. I already took the tag off, but uh, it came in a plastic too. Nice plastic cover, excellent condition. I mean, other than having a number on there, which makes you think maybe, uh, a DJ might have had it in his arsenal uh, that has number 283 on there. Uh, excellent condition. Love that album. Um, this one's a little chunky, but I think it's kind of hard to find on vinyl. Faster Pussycat. I love this album. I used to have it on cassette years ago. Probably bought it brand new. Um, it was on Bathroom Wall, but actually I like the whole album. I used to listen to every song on there and love it. Uh, uh, Tame Down, lead singer, um, right there. Just kind of 
that 80 sleaze rock era when this came out. Just loved that album front and back. It was three bucks. The, the record itself plays really nice. It's not janky, but the cover's kind of jank. Uh, looks like somebody spilled some bodily fluids out there or something. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be touching it. Um, these next three are, are special. These are ones that was in my mom's collection. My dad uh, recently uh, kind of went through some of her records, gave my, my daughter, uh, gave Jesse a Dolly Parton album. She's a big Dolly Parton fan. I mean, who, who wouldn't be? Um, but these are some that my mom used to listen to that my dad gave to me, and, and so these are special. Uh, it seems some of their collection was in the basement for a few years, and some of them got ruined, but he kind of dug some out, and uh, this one here is kind of original. Supercharged rock and roll hits. There's a bunch of songs on there. Uh, uh, ones my, my mom liked was Chapel of Love. I know she liked that. And The Boy from New York City. Uh, I know those are ones she liked. Leader of the Pack, I know she liked. That was Shangri-La's. Which Shangri-La's is an amazing band in my opinion. A big, big fan of them. But that was mom's. And now it's mine. I'm going to cherish that one. And then I, I'm going to get some plastic to cover it still yet. Uh, this is a band, The New Seekers. Uh, they did a re-release of the song Pinball Wizard. But a lot of people, a lot of bands from the 60s was, and 70s was doing you know, each other's music. This was a band that my mom just really liked, The New Seekers. They did a lot of other people's stuff. But uh, I know the band The Seekers had some original music, but The New Seekers, I'm not sure how much is original, but I know Mom really liked them as singers, and my mom used to work for, uh, uh, I think it was Capitol Records, and like she used to see some bands like uh, play, for, that played for everybody that worked there, maybe it was Columbia Records, I don't know, I can't remember, but uh, um, like Paul Rivera and Raiders, she saw them play for, for the people that worked there. And I think this was a band that she kind of picked up from knowing the other two. And uh, this, this was a Grease. Uh, it's a good album. Um, it's in real good condition. This was Mom and Dad's. And uh, really good condition, really good shape. Um, I don't know. Every song on here from the movie. Um, actually, to tell you the truth, I'm a slightly bigger fan of Grease too. Don't judge me on that, please. But uh, I like it in all its glorious cheese. But uh, this is a really good movie. Everybody knows it. And that's what I got on that batch from around Christmas time. So. Thanks everybody for watching and uh, over and out.